this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Burp Suite to intercept iOS HTTPS traffic. And I'm actually going to be using the Wi-Fi Pineapple Tetra to have the traffic flow through. So if you don't necessarily have the emulation software to run iOS applications on and you need to do some penetration testing, this is a pretty quick and easy way to get the traffic flowing to do a dynamic scan or a, a manual penetration test on an, an iOS application. Of course, you're going to need an iOS device. In the demo, you will see me using an iPhone 6 SE. In this demo, I'm actually using my Pineapple Tetra, but any access point actually would work. The reason why I'm using the Pineapple is because once I get my traffic flowing, not only can I intercept it with Burp, but I can do other interesting things and use some other pen testing tools to make assessments about the application that I'm pen testing. So what you'll need to do is on the machine where you're running Burp Suite, you will need to configure a special proxy listener. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your proxy tab and you're going to be adding a new listener. What you'll do is you'll click this add button. Now I've selected to bind to a port 8082. It could be any port number that you like. And you're going to use a specific address that was assigned to me by the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So I connected this desktop to the Pineapple and this is the IP that was assigned. You're going to see this IP again when we get to the step of having the iOS device trust the Burp certificate. Okay, let's go through our checklist. First, we have our Wi-Fi Pineapple running. Then we have our desktop with Burp running inside of that connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. We just configured the Burp Suite to listen on a new proxy listener. Make sure that that proxy listener is actually running. And you can verify this by looking at the checkbox, making sure that it does indeed have a check mark. Next, we're going to install Burp's CA digital certificate into our iOS device, and then we can start sniffing HTTPS traffic. So the first thing that we want to do is on our iPhone, go ahead and go to settings. And make sure that your iPhone or iOS device is connected to the Pineapple, whatever the SSID might be. Next, you're going to click the I next to the name of the SSID of your Pineapple to look at the IP address and other details of the connection. Now you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and there's a section called HTTP proxy. The other thing that I'm pointing out in this video is you can see that I am actually using the pineapple because it's got all of the trademarks of the IP addresses there. So at the bottom in the HTTP proxy section, you are going to configure that proxy listener that we set up on your desktop that's running Burp Suite to now match. That will forward all of the traffic from the iOS device to Burp. Now what you need to do is open Safari, HTTP colon slash slash Burp. Now the middle link that you'll notice is titled CA certificate. Go ahead and click that. The moment that you click that, you will immediately see an install profile screen. At that screen, you're going to click the install link. It's going to prompt you for your passcode. After you've put in your passcode, you can click the install link again after reading their warning. And now you can see that the Portswigger CA, the Burp certificate, is now verified and trusted on the iOS device.